Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Emad and I know it's too late to make this video. I was on a vacation for one week to help my family and Google decided to release Feb update for Android 12, Android 12 L Beta 3 and Android 13 Developer Preview 1. Isn't it too much? But anyways, I'm back on track and let's find out what's new in Android 12 L Beta 3. First, let's talk about the lock screen. On the left, I have my 6 Pro running the stable version of Android 12 and my Pixel 5 running Android 12 L Beta 3. The only change we have here is in the lock screen shortcuts. So for example, when I tap on Google Pay shortcut, you will see the animation is starting from the button itself and then it fills the entire screen. But when I do the same on my 6 Pro, you will see the page doesn't have any animation and also the same thing applies to the device controls. Now let's move on to the home screen and on the left I have my Pixel 4a instead of the 6 Pro and it's also running the same FIB update of Android 12. The first change I'm going to show you today is in the at a glance widget. And now there is a new toggle under the settings page called doorbell. So if you have a smart bell with a camera, the at a glance widget will show you who's at your door once the bell rings. The second feature is the new animation you will see when you change your wallpaper using the home screen overlay card. So when you choose one of these wallpapers, you will find a new animation that will spread from where the wallpaper is located and then it will fill the entire screen. So let me show you this again. As you see, it looks much nicer than before. Change number three is related to the Google Home search widget. So for example, when I tap on it on Android 12 L, now you will see the suggested apps at the top. However, on the stable version of Android 12, they appear at the bottom. Change number four is related to the widgets animation. So for example, if you have one of the widgets that has the edit button like the clock widget, for example, and when you go to the edit page and then use the back gesture, as you see, the animation is now linked to the widget itself. But when I do the same thing on the stable version, the page slides down and then disappears. Similarly, you will see the same behavior when you change your widget style. As you see, the animation is still linked to the widget itself, which is not the case with the current version of Android 12. This also applies to other widgets like the conversation widget, for example. When I change the conversation, I see the same animation as we saw with the clock widget. Change number five and the last one I'm going to show you in this chapter is related to repositioning your widgets on the home screen. For example, when I reposition this widget and put it on top of the icons, as you see, the icons reposition themselves to give me some space to put my widget, which is not the case anymore with the 12L Beta 3. As you see, when I put it on top of the icons, they don't move and they only move when I release my finger. Now let's talk about the quick settings and the first change is in the internet tile. Now you'll see a smaller loading bar while searching for other Wi-Fi networks and also the done button now has a fill color. The media output switcher also got some visual tweaks. First, it doesn't have the same horizontal line that separates between the media information and the other controls. Plus, the done button now has a fill color similar to what we have seen in the internet tile. And finally, if you don't have any notifications, the no notifications text will appear in the center instead of being positioned at the top, which will make it easier to reach your notification history. Now let's talk about the camera and I found a couple of interesting changes. The first one is the ability to mute the camera sounds. When you go to more settings, you will see a new toggle here called the camera sounds that you can toggle on or off. The second change is the much faster night sight performance. I have a screen recording while taking a night sight photo on both devices. Even though the 6 Pro has a much faster processor, but the Pixel 5 was faster. So let me play the screen recording at the same time. I started by opening the camera and waited for a few seconds until night sight got activated. And after hitting the shutter key, the Pixel 5 was faster and in the second attempt, the Pixel 5 was much faster than the 6 Pro. Now let's talk about the split screen, which is now called Split Top. And with Beta 3, it got a new icon to give you a hint that this app will be pinned towards the top. The second change is exclusive to the Pixel 6 models. And here I have two apps running in a split screen view. And as you see, the edges are now sharper to match the phone design. However, if we're going to compare this to the Pixel 5, for example, you will see much more rounded corners. Change number three is actually a feature loss. In beta 2, we used to have a quick shortcut in the picture in picture window to quickly start a split screen view in case I have another app running on the phone. 
But this shortcut is now gone, I'm not sure if it's a bug or this feature will make its way back again in the future. Now let me show you one random change related to the screenshots only on my Pixel 5. This is one of the screenshots I took before the update and when I zoom out, you will see sharp corners as expected everywhere. However, after installing Beta 3, when I zoom out, now I see curved corners at the top. However, the bottom half is using the same sharp corners like before, so I'm not sure if it's a bug or expected behavior. Now I installed Android 12 L Beta 3 on my 6 Pro as well to show you a new animation related to the under display fingerprint. When I unlock my phone, you will see some waves around my finger before the phone unlocks, which wasn't the case before. Last but not least, let me show you a couple of fixes I noticed after installing Beta 3 and the first one is the appearance of weather information on the always on display and also the lock screen and this was one of the issues in Beta 2 and the second problem is related to changing your wallpaper using the overlay menu. Now when I change it, it works as expected, it puts the text sign on the correct wallpaper and I can get back to my original wallpaper if I want without any crashes. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in Android 12 L Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And please stay tuned for my upcoming video about Android 13 Developer Preview 1. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.